What's up, gamers? My name is Keel, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. We literally, I'm just picking up exactly where we left off last time, which is going out to get to Freeze Easy Peak. You remember also we hit that witch switch to open up this little witch thingy, the top of it. We're gonna do that in this episode as well and get us another jiggy from there. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe. Whoop! Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. Uh, instead of, you know, hitting the enemies, because hitting enemies are bad. But hitting that subscribe and that like button, like Banjo's does, really, really good. All right, let's go, though. So this little area here is Gobi's Desert Area. We can't really do much here, but we can grab the Witch Switch Jiggy that we just did. We just need to come in here, hit this beautiful switch, pops that. We need to time this correctly, in order to, oh wow, I screwed that up. In order to jump and go into the vase. We're also going to be needing that again for the Gobi Desert Witch Switch. Because it's in the exact same area. Yo, Alright, there we go. Number five of the, whoops, of the Gruntilda's Lair. We are halfway done with those, which means we've hit half of the Witch Switches. Well, I mean, you think about it, we've only hit four, I guess, technically. There's, four, there's nine worlds in total. We've hit four. So I guess there's five left. I mean, we're about halfway there. I guess when we hit the switch of the next one, we'll be halfway there. But there's nothing else we can do here at this moment. So we're just going to continue on. We might... There's a glitch where you can actually grab that jiggy inside the little thing there. But I ain't going to worry about it, honestly. Oh, okay. How many notes does this door take? 350. I mean, I mean, let's go ahead and open it. I mean, we could just go ahead and do Gobi's Desert. I have opened Freeze Easy Peak. I mean, we could just grab both moves, which is the last moves anyways. And then we could just do both of the worlds back to back. Technically, you have to... Well, no, you could just... I'm trying to think how we want to do this. Because you need the moves of each world in order to complete both worlds. So I'm trying to think about how we want to do this. I mean, I guess we could step into Freeze Easy Peak grab the move that's all we'll do in there and then we'll go into Gobi's desert you know what that's what we're gonna do let's go do that let's run into uh freeze easy peak grab the one move out of here book our butts back to Gobi's desert complete that entire world i feel like that i, I kind of feel like that's the best thing to do also the music in this world is just amazing i'm not going to try and grab anything i want it to be as fresh as possible this dude here my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten this shiny thing. Someone help poor Bogey. All right, we'll help Bogey when we actually do Freeze Easy Peak, okay? So where is the move? The move is over here. Yes, it's over here. It's kind of near the front, which is nice. Like I said, I'm not going to grab any of the notes, anything too crazy. Oh, I grabbed a note. <laughs> I wasn't going to. I will grab that, though, because that's very nice. Here's the only move we're going to get out of here. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press X to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world now. Yep. Nice. So we're going to head on out of here. <laughs> Just like that. We are out of here. Because <laughs> we actually need the running shoes for this world as well. Kobe's Desert needs the Beak Bomb attack in order to complete. So it's like, why don't we just do one? Why don't we just grab both moves and then we'll just complete one world at a time? That sounds like an amazing plan to me. Then that way, I'm not forgetting Jiggies because I will completely forget a Jiggy somewhere along the way. So we're going to head back to Gobi's Desert, which we opened. I think Gobi's Desert is technically like World 6, I think. I'm actually not 100% sure, honestly. Uh. We're gonna do it. I didn't think it was gonna like send me all the way back. But here we are, Gobi's Desert. Right back here is a yellow Jinjo. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab him. <laughs> One more move here. And then we're actually done with the moves too, is the crazy part. You look at the trees real quick. Okay, none of the trees I'm really all that worried about then. So this world, there's a lot of swimming. There's also a lot of aerial stuff as well. There's also a big pyramid dude here, which we're just gonna shoot some. Uh, Action to his nose here pretty darn soon. Not right this minute. Oh gosh, run away. Run away. Uh, I'm trying to remember where everything is in here, honestly. Ah yes, this little area right here. I had to think there for a second. I was like, uh, how do I do this again? <laughs> it has been a little while. 
There is some flight down there. Whoop, flight disc thingies. Yes. We should probably grab the other move here while we're here, but I'll grab it here in a second. Oh my gosh. I promise I can do this. There we go. I think it's like right over here, actually. Or maybe it's further away than I thought it was. Ha 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 ha. You can't hit me. Over there. Is it up here? No. I will grab these notes, though. Uh, oopsie. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wow. I almost got hit. Where is the dude at? Oh, here he is over here. All right. I knew he was here. I just wasn't sure where. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Hmm, your energy is a little... Okay, yeah. I did take a little bit of damage. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all of the moves in the game. And so technically you would get like an achievement if you're playing the Xbox 360 version here. And I mean, technically we are, so... Oh, yes, we need the running shoes for that one. Get Grabba's little jiggy thingy, which we'll do here in just a second, I promise. We got a lot to do here on this world. There's a lot going on here. I'm going to grab that while I'm here. Uh, I need the running shoes, like, ASAP. There, I should... There, I think there's, like, a pair up here. Yes. ba ba da ba ba da Running time! And so we need to hurry and make it to that door. Of course, we lose like five seconds. Which you need to have the running shoes for this in order to actually do this. I mean, we could just come back and grab the notes later. I ain't all that worried about them. We'll grab the notes later. I made it! Haha, <laughs> I made it even though it was zero. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back up, go back up, go back up. I want this uh, mumbo token. Because once you grab the Jiggy out of here, you cannot come back in here and grab the Mumbo Token. So I'm like, yeah, I might as well just go ahead and grab it, you know. And boom! And so that actually releases all of the water out of here. Floods that area there, which now we're able to swim in instead of actually not doing, being able to do anything in. And I'm going to go ahead and grab everything out of here. These mummies, unfortunately... We can't really kill- you can kill them, but I don't want to waste my, uh, uh, gold feathers for that. Okay, we're gonna go on up here. We're gonna go up here, grab the notes that I missed, because, you know, I was going too fast and I didn't really care for the notes. Because if you'd have noticed, if I'd actually took time to grab the notes, I would have, like, failed. And I don't like failing on this, because I don't like to do it again. <laughs> Give me that note. There we go. We're also gonna grab that one up while we're up here. Might as well. I don't feel like I need it, but you never know. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da! All right, we're gonna try and whoop. Excuse me. We're gonna try and make it over here without hitting, without getting hit. We have to do this without getting hit. Oh, oh, guess not. Never mind. Oh, I missed. Got it. Ha 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 ha! No, I've had that a thousand years. Well done, mortal. And that is our Jiggy. All right, we're doing pretty good, I feel like, with Jiggy's here. I don't want to take the chance any longer. Okay, I'm down to, like, three health. I'm going to have to get out of here. Ugh. There is... You know what? I'm just going to go grab these waiting boots. I wasn't wanting to use the waiting boots. I guess we'll use them. I didn't really want to use these, but I guess we'll use them. Bloop, 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 bloop. That was nice. That was a quicker way to get down. And yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of there because it automatically like does that, which is kind of dumb, I feel like, but it's fine. This game is a treasure. I can't like down it too much, you know? Oh, let's go free Gobi. Yes. Let's go free the thing that actually this desert is named after. <laughs> oh, darn it. I almost had it. Yay. Yay. Here's your reward, bear. Gobi's off to cool down. <laughs> your hut. All right, so that's three. How many health? How much health do I got? I've got two. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine, right? You won't die that easily. Uh, I am gonna hit this. I don't think that's timed. No, that's not timed. Okay. Oh, dang it! I didn't know you were in there. <laughs> But yeah, that was for a honeycomb. I don't remember where the other honeycomb is. But you know what? I do too. I do too. I, I lied. I just lied. There we go. And so yeah, you gotta shoot the dude with the eggs. There's one on each side. This uh, this opens up, I think it's another like fun little dilly or something. 
We're also gonna come down here and grab everything eventually. Not right this second though. There we go. You just gotta shoot three in them. That's it. No big deal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? I don't know if you noticed though, like the worlds start getting longer and longer as we go along. And it's just because of like the sheer amount of depth within each world at this point. Okay, that was easy. Got it. We did it. So we claim our reward inside, which we'll go inside here in a second. Right now though, I actually kind of want to just go on down here. Only do we get notes. We get a Jinjo down here, which is a blue one. Very nice. Oh, I missed the note. Uh, oh crap, I'm gonna have to come back and get that note. Darn it. Oh, I want that token. I want that token. Yeah. I, oh, good thing you can like stop on a dime there. I'm gonna have to hurry though. There it is. All right, that's the last one. Go, go, go. All right, easy enough. I mean, if, if you were worried about it, I wasn't really all that worried about it. <laughs> I'm getting lost. Whoa. That's not what you were trying to do. Give me my health back. I like getting health. Yeah, the other honeycomb piece, I think is like right over there. No, it's not over there, is it? I thought it was, apparently it's not. I don't remember where it is. Uh, we do have a flying section that we're gonna be doing very shortly. Actually, we just wanna go inside this little pyramid, I guess, first. This is what happens when you don't play the game in like years, you know? Really, you actually gotta use Kazoo to get up there, okay. Well, that was weird. Oh. Huh, <laughs> thanks game. Did I just fall in the water? I did. <laughs> no, bad beetle thingy. Was not expecting the Beatles to just, like, bomb that crap out of me. There we go. Hey. 12 of them. Nice. We got 12 of them. I think we need, like, 15. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Oh, wait. I think it's this way. <laughs> actually, you know what? I think the other honeycomb's in here. Uh, I think about it. I'm actually just trying to remember my way through this crap. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh, no. The witch switch is in here. Is it right here? Yeah, right here. Okay. You gotta make sure you hit that witch switch. And then we'll grab that when we get out of here, which is very soon, I hope. Uh, it won't be soon. It'll be a little while. Oh, okay. We got plenty of time. I thought the other honeycomb was in here, though, but it wasn't. We did it! No, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. Oh, no! No. There's a Jinjo in here. Okay, where's the Jinjo? I can't see. There it is. We've got one Jinjo left, which I know where it is, which I was hoping we'd find the other honeycomb piece in here. I don't see it. Well, darn. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Kazooie. Let's uh, start. I guess we'll start the flying thing now, which I need to find a flying thing. This music is so good. Oh, there's notes out there. Okay, hold on. Before we actually go up there. Ba -da -da -ba -da. Grant Kirkholm did so good on this soundtrack. Like, legit. It's so good. If you agree with me, hit that thumbs up in the con- right. Just hit the thumbs up if you agree with me. Alright, sweet. We got them all. Nice. I was a little bit worried that the time limit on that was a little bit stranger for some reason, but thankfully it wasn't. Good up. Okay. Whoop. Or not. <laughs> or not. Let's try again. Ugh. There we go. Whee! All right, we've got a lot of flying stuff to do. <laughs> it wouldn't let me, darn it. Which one of them is going through these beautiful little rings right here? And I am not very good at it, apparently. <laughs> there we go. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that one. Is it right here? Yeah, it's right here. All right, over in the sandy area, right over here. I don't remember the exact thing this opens up. Oh, wow. I. Okay, I just didn't want to like actually sit. <laughs> There's that one right over there. Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, there's a one up out here. Uh, let me through. Let me through. Yay! It lets me through. Where? Okay, where's this one at? Oh. I'm just gonna use that to travel a little bit faster. <laughs> That's the Beak Buster attack that we got in Freeze Easy Pete. We're gonna be using that here in just a second. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Which I will go grab very shortly. Uh, where? Okay, there's the honeycomb piece. Let's go grab the honeycomb piece while we're here. Music up a lot of feathers, though. This little thing I gotta be very careful with. Oh! There we go. We did it! Yay for Killy Boy! Oops. Well, we're gonna come back up here and get all the notes here in just a second, so it's no big deal. Uh, oh, whoops. <laughs> Wrong attack! There we go. 
That was the attack I wanted. <laughs> We're gonna start doing this one here in just a second, which is a memory game, which is pretty cool. I like the fact that they put like random like memory games in here. Let's go! 100 seconds, which honestly doesn't seem like it's a lot, but it's enough to get through it as long as you know where everything is, which I'm not doing a very good job apparently. I don't know where everything is anymore. I haven't seen Kazooie yet. That's Banjo. I have seen Banjo though. Okay. I think the egg is right here. Nope. I always wanted to like say like the eggs were like next to each other for some reason. Egg. No. No, it was the Jinjos that were next to each other. That's what it was. Honeycomb peas. I think it's this one. Nope. Okay, there's the egg. Okay, there's Kazooie. No, I think it's this one. No? Oh my god, I am doing so horribly at this. But really and truly, they give you plenty of time. Like, I've only taken up a minute. It's 60 seconds. They give you 100 seconds, but you don't really need it, honestly. Look at there, we've got it. Yo, huh? All right, let's get out of here. Oh, Leon off, Ralt, Ralt. All right, let's grab this, these notes real quick because I was going too fast. <laughs> All right, we got 20 notes remaining. Honestly, not a bad total when you kind of sit down and think about it. Like we're almost done with all the notes, which is actually pretty crazy. Uh, there is another Jiggy over here, which I'm actually going to, oh no, I know where the other uh, honeycomb is. We have to do this to get the other honeycomb. I completely forgot about that. Eh, or not. There we go. Get, get, get. Ah, lovely water. Trunker feels great. And then Gobi runs away. We'll go do Gobi once again. He's going to have the other honeycomb piece, uh, along with, I think, five notes as well. So we actually got to climb up here just to grab the note or grab the jiggy, not the notes. You know, the thingy that we need to collect in order to 100% this game. We're actually getting very close to beating this world. A lot of this world, unfortunately for me, is a lot of just backtracking back and forth just because of how, like, it's laid out. Like, <sighs> that's the wrong button. And of course, me pushing wrong buttons don't really help matter as much either, does it? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot we had this one ready. Also remember, once we get 30 likes on a video of this series, we're going to be doing a banjo Tui Beautiful little let's play. Uh, am I in the right spot? Alright, good deal. My dose is all blocked up. Yeah, chickles! There we go. We did it! I actually thought it was like three of each, but it's only one. Also gonna grab all of these feathers while I'm here. There we go. Cause feathers are nice. Leave me alone. <laughs> Hate those things. All right. Grab the notes. Gotta grab the notes, right? Gotta get the notes. Banjo Kazooie. Kappa. <laughs> I thought the other. Oh no, the other Jinjo is in here. It's just in a very different spot. I'm also gonna grab an, a few more eggs because I might need them. I definitely wanted to grab the other eggs just in case I needed them. Pretty sure I'll need them, but I don't remember. I think you have to, I think it's just one I missed. Yeah, it's just one, okay. And of course, don't fall, because then you gotta do this all over again. Where's the Jinjo? I know, I heard him. Oh, crap. We're gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to go back and get him. For the Jiggy! Oh, that was very fast. I was not expecting that to be that fast. Yo, okay, that's eight. I know there's another Jiggy that we're missing. I don't remember. I can't remember where the heck it is all of a sudden. Nom, 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 nom. Like, I know. Oh, I know which one it is. It's the one I was like, oh, you need the Beak Buster for. Duh. Um, ba -dum -bum. Yo, huh? Yeet. How many notes do we got? I actually don't remember how many notes we have either. We're down there. I need a flight thingy. I think the nearest one is actually back up here again. Darn it. I should have opened this while I had the chance. I didn't think about it. No, because I think you have to open it and then... You only have like a few seconds until it closes, I think. Uh, let's open it. Let me just see what happens. And then we might go do the Gobi thing. Oh, right on time. Yeah, you only got like 20 seconds, which we don't really have that much time. Which is very liberal when you kind of sit down and think about it. <laughs> they give you plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, I take a, a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Oh, here's probably the rest of the notes that we're going to need. I know where the other five are. And there should be two more, two. Yep, all right, so we know where the other five are. We also know where, oh, this is gonna be fun. 
Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No. We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Oh, very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes. Oh, wrong button. What is it? Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. What button is it? Oh, that's it. Wow, I'm doing horribly at this. Just the timing is so bad on that. Ah, a thousand thanks, my friend. Histup will now help you with your request. I think I need to jump on this. There we go. We got it. We did it. That's all 10. I like halfway expected it to like just all the way down. <laughs> I don't know why. That's all 10 of those. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Over there's the other five notes and oh, I don't think I can do this. Oh, yes, I can. I'm going to do it. The other five notes and the other honeycomb piece. Thankfully, this is right here where we needed it, right? Boom! Bah! That's it! I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. I don't blame you, Gobi. I really don't blame you one bit. We're also going to go in there as well. That was all of those. All the notes. Let's just make sure with our beautiful view totals. I actually forgot to do this with uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp as well. Oh, that's for easy. Bubble Gloop Swamp is complete. Very good. We've got them all complete so far. Let's go in here. Golden button. Ah, oh, it's an egg. It's a blue egg. Let's grab it. Wow, another one of those special stop and swap eggs. Hope this isn't a cruel joke. And we can actually use them this time. So we're actually just grabbing them because, you know, we can. And the best part is we are completely done with Gobi's Desert. And yes, oh, I just realized I'm going to take a crap ton of damage. I might actually die. You know what? Do I want to take the intentional death here? Nah. I actually did think about taking the intentional death. <laughs> That's in my way. <laughs> I actually did think about it, but then I was like, nah, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> All right. So once we're back out here, we're not done with the episode yet. Because if you remember, we have that beautiful. Whoa. I didn't see that there. We have the witch switch that we hit in Gobi's Desert, which is active at this current time. So we might as well. Just go right on ahead and pop <laughs> and grab it. Why don't we, you know, it's right. Uh, okay. We have to get right here. It's actually right here in this exact same area. Uh, okay. Good deal. I was like, can I got enough room there? All right. Four more of the switches remaining. We've got 19 mumble tokens. I think we got enough for freeze easy peak, which is coming next time.